Yeah, we like to roll in right at 225, and that's right where it is. This is going to be going till like 7 in the morning because it's cooking pulled pork and brisket. Those take 17 hours. We've been in places in our relationship, we were flat broke, like we didn't have anything. In those hard days, we'd be like, look, one day we're gonna be able to give back to others the same way that we've been given to. To know what it feels like to be hungry, like legit hungry, I can't imagine being able to provide food and not give it. When we came into this idea of having a restaurant, I knew that we would have to make it our second home. Here's the dining area. Um, we have meat, meat, even more meat. I make the barbecue sauce over here. I know how to make the chicken. I'm not sure how to prep the um, brisket. He hasn't taught me that yet. That's pretty much it. This is why when I go home and I take a shower, I can smell the smoke coming off me. <laughs> Wherever I go, man, I smell like smoke. Even at the airport, someone was like, man, do you guys smell barbecue? And the whole family was like, yeah, that's us. <laughs> we don't cook for measurements, like they put on the back of the box. We cook from a feeling, from sight, from, from smell, from taste. When I pull down the seasoning, I literally feel the seasoning in my hand. I'm just like, okay, it has this much in it. Like, it's a second nature. It's not a feeling of weight or measurement. It's a feeling of, of love, of respect, of, of honor. OZ, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Hey, thanks so much for letting hey, us come. Hey, no problem, man. Nice to meet you, and thanks for your order. It smells well. delicious. Oh, yeah, you're going to love it. How long have you been doing uh, barbecue? Uh, I've been doing barbecue. I've been smoking meats for like five, six years. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, not too, lo not too oh, yeah. long. I, was, I, I learned thinking, fast, though. I was thinking you were going to say, like, I've been doing this for 30 years. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I've been doing it about five, six years. I just fell into this, man. I don't know. <laughs> so let me know how I can help. OK, cool, man. Dump this bowl in here and then start putting it on the plate. The pandemic was insane. We needed so much help. With COVID, whole uncertainty of like, what's gonna happen to our business? And like, who's coming in here? We had this huge dream. All right, we're gonna build a restaurant. We had a lease. We're like, okay, we're gonna sign the lease. We're gonna make this happen. And everything got shut down. The Restaurant Care Grant was huge. It came just in time. We were able to take care of our staff and reinvest in a lot of equipment that we needed to make our food more efficiently. Restaurant equipment, even though it looks less complex. It's expensive stuff. Extremely expensive. Yeah. So where is this food going? Each and every one that's here today. This is going to Greater Emanuel Church. Every Friday, they do a grocery giveaway. It's a mix of income insecure people and homeless. What we've offered to do is give them a home cooked meal. Like the feeling of pulling up to the church, there's like a line of people to hear their stories about like, man, I haven't had home cooked mac and cheese. I haven't had real food in so long. It means the world to us. It legit means the world to us to be able to be in this position where we're able to give back. My favorite wood of all is mesquite though. Mesquite. That's my favorite where you, wood. Where do you find mesquite right here? Well, I, if I told you then, I wouldn't be able to find <laughs> it. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Restaurants that are chain restaurants don't have the same soul that restaurants like Gettio's has. Chains can come and go, but this is the soul of the community. We never thought that we would be at this point where we can spend like every waking moment together and enjoy it, but we do. My biggest prayer is that we're always friends, we're always together, like we take care of each other. Thank you, brother. Just use those wings and rise. Cool.